Hello everybody and welcome back to Connor here and we are here with the, well, it's going to be the, the day after the night before really. <laughs> um, I think we're just going to start this sort of like little mini series whenever Leeds are sort of playing, you know, within the week because it's difficult to pick it up on weekends of course. Yeah, tough game, really tough game for me last night, I've said the instant match reaction but it's always good sort of having a bit of time off then coming back to it but the instant match reaction, the reason we do these sort of things here on one lead is so you guys get that content continuously. A lot of you might not have agreed with what I said last night. I still watched it this morning and sometimes I'll watch it back and think, mm, you were miles off. But I, I did think I was sort of on the money last night in terms of what I said. A few people disagreed, which is, that's football, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I, I, what did I think of last night? It was a really tough game. It wasn't an enjoyable game to watch. And I think that's where Wolves did extremely well, uh, very, very well indeed. And they made it a, a tough game for Leeds uh, to, to get really involved in. Clear-cut chances-wise, Rodrigo had a good chance uh, where he sort of fired it straight at Rui Patricio. But in terms of clear-cut chances throughout the entire game, it was pretty equal. It was pretty equal. I thought we did okay in the first half. I thought we were you know, playing some nice stuff. They were getting a lot of blocks in. But in terms of clear-cut chances, I don't think we had that many. There wasn't that cutting edge that we've seen to Leeds United last night uh, from what we've seen this season. It was That's just the basic premise of it. Now, with regards to Wolves, I thought at the end of the half, the end of the first half, a lot of people were turning around saying we battered them, we did this, we did that. But I thought Wolves would have gone in the happier team, which a lot of you might think is quite controversial. The reason behind that is because that's Wolves' game. They're a counter-attacking side. They defend in low blocks and they spring on the counter-attack. The fact that they didn't play well, they're slow starters. We all know that with Wolves. I think the percentage of, of their goals that come in the second half is astronomical in comparison to the first. So we all know the slow starters and that normally is where they embed someone like Adama Traore in the second half. So in terms of that, it, it did play into Wolves' strategy really well. They were just sitting back defending well in the low block. Leeds were the dominant team by far, and um, backed up by possession and, and, and shots. Not shots on target, but just in general shots. I think we had 10 in the first half. But the reason I mention off target is because naturally we didn't create and fashion that many chances on target and we didn't see Rui Patricio make really any saves during the entire match. So was it a good a good performance from Leeds? I think it was. I don't think it was our best at all. I'd probably still say, and a lot of you will turn around and say no chance for this, but I think it was our worst performance of the season. I think all the previous four games have been brilliant in terms of us playing to our strengths. I think last night we played to Wolves' strengths because we weren't clinical. You know, we were playing into their defensive game and we weren't able to carve them open. Shades of Sheffield Wednesday last year for me, but at the same time, you know Wolves have got that quality and where Sheffield Wednesday, then a championship team, won't be able to neutralise leads and then hit leads with the, the quality that they have. It was always a seemingly rubbish break away from teams like Sheffield Wednesday in the Championship. Wolves developed a real dominance in the second half and it was a dominance in terms of counter-attacks as well. Pedense obviously putting that ball in, Saeed smashing it into the bottom corner. 1-0 obviously chalked off. The brilliant save from Melier just before half-time with excellent save. Um, from Melier on Pedence again and then obviously we had the uh, we had the Jimenez goal didn't we which was a real unfortunate one to, to, to concede and, and they just looked quite dangerous I think Pedence had a, had a good chance as well on the edge of the D which was brilliantly saved by Melier again so they did fashion quite a few chances did Wolves in comparison to Leeds for me in that midfield area because we press so many bodies going forward Leeds naturally always do because we always have one extra man in the offensive outlet defensively in the midfield as well as I've said throughout this season so far we do look exposed when teams come forward and if teams are able to hit us with that quality then they're gonna hurt us but I thought we were okay last night I think you know you, you take it into account and Wolverhampton Wanderers finished seventh twice they got knocked out of the quarterfinals of the Europa League by Sevilla, the eventual winners last year. So they're a brilliant side. And when you bring in players like Ruben Neves, Adama Traore off the bench, you know that you've got a, a squad with depth. And let's let's be right, we're talking about Wolves being Leeds' blueprint for years to come. You know, getting into that position where we can challenge. So it's not a bad result at all. It really isn't. I didn't expect it. I said 3-1. A tight 3-1. I thought we would be getting... I thought it would be 2-1 up and be getting mauled by Wolves and then we might spring a counter-attack and get a third. That's how I envisaged it. 
couldn't have been more wrong. It was just the amount of blocks they were getting in, the amount of blocks. And, and you know, we saw the chance where Rafinha zipped the ball across and Pablo hit it. And it was blocked again, block after block after block after block. They were just, and as I said last night, it seemed like they had 15 players in defence every single time. I thought Leeds were quite slow in the transitions last night. There was maybe four or five touches where there could have been one or two. I didn't think Ailing had a good game. I didn't think Calvin had a good game. And when you take those two players out of Leeds, as in when they don't have a good game, it affects Leeds across the board. Good game-wise, I thought Melier played really well. I thought his distribution was good. I thought he made some key saves, especially that one at the end of the first half. I thought Robin was superb again. Just We don't miss Ben White, do we, at all. Robin is just fantastic, and we got him for a third of the price. I thought Stroik played really well as well. The only disappointing thing for me was that the goal where he sort of slipped and then he stood up, Jimenez, and he lunged and Jimenez just took the ball around him. You know, that wasn't ideal. But on the Patreon, we'll be going through the player ratings and we'll be going on three things that we learned from last night. So if you want to check the Patreon out, please go do so. There's going to be more content out today. But yeah, it's it's not to get down about. Wolves are a top side. They're a top, top side in the same bracket as Tottenham and Everton for me in terms of quality of opponent, if not better. I think they'll do well this year. It's Wolves' best start since 1979 as well. I know we all were talking about West Ham 4-0, City 3-1 against Wolves. But aside from that, they've been sort of freak results really. You know, three wins out of five. They've started the campaign really well. So... I think we go on to Villa and, and Villa's going to be, you know, we're, we're hearing Gabi on the hall. We're hearing, you know, all this sort of stuff, um, winding Leeds fans up already, you know, saying that Bielsa's a myth, which is, wow. I mean, what a thing to come out with. We'll get into Gabi on the hall in some future videos, but let's hope they win, eh? Villa coming out with all these comments and little old Leeds going to be going there and getting battered by AC Milan, sounds like. Um, let's bear in mind that Leicester had three of the best players out, as did Liverpool. <laughs> but we'll get into that um, obviously next. Uh, well, at the end of the uh, at the end of the week, we've got some great guests coming on, and your Villa tactical breakdowns will be will be coming out at, at, well very soon, really, because it's a Friday turnaround, isn't it? And the fact that we're going into Villa and and we need a win, as in we don't need a win, but we you know we've lost the game. You know we react very well to defeats normally. So, you know, we'll be going into that game and, 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 and I think we'll do well against Villa. I think we'll do well. And it's going to be a tough game, but it's going to be interesting to see how they deal with us. Let's let's be right. They've not they've not beaten us under Dean Smith. So let's wait and see with that one. So yeah, it's um fair play to Wolves. I thought Wolves did well last night. I still stick to what I said last night. I thought they shaded it in that second half. I thought in their first half, we played to their game as well. They're very good defensively. Whereas the second half, they were defensively good. And they came on offensively as well. And and as, as I said at the start, we we had we had what one two shot on, shots on goal. Didn't really trouble Rui Patricio at all, really. So I think we played into their game. They're defensively very good. We, we dominated the first half in terms of possession, but I don't know if we dominated in terms of just battered them because we didn't do much. We didn't create much for me. You know, we had the penalty appeal. But yeah, we didn't really do much. And that's Wolves' game. They'll just sit back and soak up and soak up. And then the second half, they actually asserted a dominance, which they don't normally do, Wolves. Wolves normally just sit back and hit on the counter-attack. But they actually asserted dominance in that first 30 minutes of the second half and really were, out for me, outplaying us. So yeah, I think they shaded it a little bit. A draw would have been a fair result. But yeah, I mean, 1-0, I'm, I'm not going to complain about. I'm gutted we've lost. I hate losing. But we're still 10th, you know, <laughs> You've got to measure expectations. You'd be buzzing at this at this result at the start of, uh, of the season, you know, in terms of the progression we've made, the results we've had, where we are in the league table. You'd be buzzing. And going into Villa, it's going to be a great game. And the, I'm loving the fact they're writing us off. That's great. I'm happy with that. That is fine. You know, we have, we've had that for so many years, teams writing us off. And then let's see what we do. Uh, let's, gab, let's get Gabby Agbon the horse quote and stick it to the wall. That's what I'd be doing. Um, Bielsa's a myth, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable um, but yeah so yeah the Wolves fair play to you I thought you did well last night you played to your strengths and yeah I think it wasn't our best game last night but rest assured we'll be coming back absolutely fighting against Villa so uh, yeah uh, you check, check all the content out last night as well guys we'll have much more content coming up I'm going to pass you over to a couple of the fan cams now some of the guys reactions from last night I think there were we've had some good ones here I think we've got Mark Anthony and Brent Make sure you check out the merchandise, which is all available below, um, where you can you can cop some really nice merch. We're wearing it all last night as well. I'll see you in a bit.
Um, you know, were we at the races today? Look, I think we looked okay in parts. First half was fantastic, obviously. The second half, not so much, but Wolverhampton Wanderers, I mean, you know, where was, where, where was this great Portuguese side with this great tactical manager that's done so well for the past two years in the Premier League? You know, 10 men behind the ball against little old Leeds. Um, you know, I mean, not, not that any of their supporters are going to care less about me whinging about that. They've got the three points, fair play, but, you know, I, I was just watching the game, you know, really looking forward to this game, you know, um, with two, you know, supposedly very good managers, two very good teams. And um, it was like us versus Luton last year, you know, it was absolutely ridiculous. Um, but look, it's up to us to break it down and we just couldn't break it down today. Um, you know, uh, look, a few, a few complaints about the game. What was up with Calvin Phillips today? I mean, we all love him. I love him. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not going in on him as far as anything more than the 90 minutes I just watched. But, you know, is it just me or does Calvin just seem very, I don't know, laxy daisy at times? You know, a lot of, you know, one on one challenges. And, and I saw some of this last year. You know, he just, certain games, he wasn't at the races. He, I, he'd just go in one on ones very, very casual, very almost like it was a bit too easy for him. And before you knew it, the guy was dispossessed. You know, really, and I'm not even talking about the goal that um, that we conceded. You know, I mean, it happened. You know, last minute reaction. You try to head 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 the ball away, and and, and it happened. But he just seemed slow. Second to the ball, almost like he couldn't be bothered, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that was his attitude, you know, it wouldn't have been, but just, you know, really disappointing and hopefully he can back it up next game. Um, most of the time he has, so I'll back him to do it again. Um, you know, I, I, I liked our substitutions, even though they might have been a little bit too late. I, I would have liked to have seen um, Paddy maybe come off um and Rodrigo moved up forward and then replaced Rodrigo in midfield with another creative midfielder. Um, nothing against Paddy because um, you can only you can only do what you can do in the situation he was in um, today. You know, he tried his heart out, but it just wasn't happening. And it just you could tell it just wasn't going to happen for him. You know, if we we're going to um, get that goal back against a team like this, um, it was going to be through a bit of midfield creativity, you know, a Pablo. Um, and, um, you know, I, I would have liked to have seen that move. Um, just quickly, um, yeah, Rafinha looked really good, really dynamic when he came on. Um, it's easier to do that, though, when you're against... Um, when you're against a team that's been out there 90 minutes and you're coming on for the last 10. Um, but really looking forward to seeing what uh, what he can do. Um, uh, Robin Cock was absolutely unbelievable. Again, I, c I cannot believe how he is coming on. Um, you know, uh, so long may that continue. And, um, you know, look, there's, I could, I could keep going, but obviously we'll, um, We'll, 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 we'll cut it off and, uh, look, uh, let's just, let, let's just look to Villa now. Let's put this one behind us. Second loss for the season. Frustrating, but it happens. Let's look to Villa. Let's look to get more points on the board and, uh, and we'll kick on from there. All right. Cheers, guys. Speak soon. Hi, guys. All of you at One Leeds. Uh, post match, uh, summary of the match shall defeat against, uh, Wolves. Not suicidal, always upsetting when we lose. We always have to you know, to step back to go forward again, but that's exactly what Leeds United need to do. We need to learn lessons from defeat as well as victory. And, you know, we have the uh, the right setup with Marcelo Bielsa and the coaching staff and the ethos of the players to, 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 to be able to do that. I think the best tonic we can have is playing Villa at the end of the week very quickly, get it out of our system. But we also need to learn from those things. Rather than just getting out of the system, we need to learn. The match last night... Had we taken the lead in the first half with a couple of chances we had, I think we have a different game on our hands altogether. But in the same time, I have to give credit to Wolves. They're an intelligent, very smart outfit, well marshaled, great coach. Players like Cody and the team and all the rest of them that we could, we could go on all night talking about. But they did very well and they took the wind out of ourselves in the first half by the fact we never scored. And in the second half, they started putting their foot on the ball and starting, um, started to boss a little bit more. But um, we thought we'd ridden the storm when VAR jumped in and disallowed their goal, and we thought we'd got through that. Um, and I would like to have seen the change of substitutes a little bit earlier than we actually saw them. But, um, you know, am I going to tell Marcelo Bielsa how to run, run a football team? No, I'm not. But um, 
I think, you know, it was, it's always sad to see Coops when he's not able to. I always thought it was too premature to bring him back, and I'm not surprised he was, uh, he was injured before kickoff. But I think certainly in Stroik and uh, Cock at the back, we were certainly well marshaled and well covered there. Uh, they're actually a class act. Calvin Phillips looks absolutely shattered. He's got footballitis. He's certainly got a case of brain fog. Um, he just wasn't with the races last night at all. And uh, it, it's, it's sad to see a player like that, especially Calvin. But it's going to happen. Unfortunately, we don't have the depth in squad to be able to say to him, look, you know, step out of it for a week or two and bring somebody else into the equation. I think Stroik would be the natural replacement. But then again, who, to go, who goes into to defence? But look, we will learn lessons from this and uh, we don't have to be suicidal about it. It is part of the process. Wolves, it's taken them 40 years to have such a good start. And uh, I'm not advocating that we're going to take as long to do that. I think the start we've had is certainly well balanced. And I think uh, Villa will be another step in the right direction. So keep smiling because you know what? We'll always march on together. Cheers, guys. ta -da. Hi guys, it's Anthony with your post-match review for Leeds nil Wolves 1 last night. Not exactly what I expected. I expected a game full of goals, to be fair. I, I, I thought I thought Wolves have done a really good job on us, haven't they? Uh, I think Nuno's done his homework. I think if you're looking at teams that have beaten us last season in the Championship, you know, your QPRs, your um, Swansea's, uh, your Cardiff's, that's how they beat us. That's just, that if you want to beat Leeds United, put a very good defensive display and pack the defence out and hit us on the counter-attack. And if you've got the players to counter-attack like Wolves have, it's, it's always going to be difficult for us because we haven't really proven yet that we can break those teams down when they do that to us. And in the Premier League, that's just going to become harder when we play against teams like that. And we are going to come against come up against a lot of teams like that. Um, so I think it's important that we start to utilise those creative players that we have a bit more because we are getting in really good positions and we were getting in really good positions last night, but our creative players just weren't at it at all. Harrison and Costa from the wings, just the, the delivery, which wasn't good enough. Obviously, in the first 20 minutes, uh, Helder Costa w was looking sharp, really great, um, getting past his man like he wasn't there. Saez had no chance with him in the first 20 minutes. But after that, ugh, they just they just stifled us the whole game. Um, Phillips' distribution from midfield was poor. Um, he was off it. He had a bad game, but he'll he'll bounce back. It's it's he's not going to have a great game every every game, especially after the international break. Playing under Gareth Southgate might have affected him. You never know. A lot of that going around on Twitter. Um, but in the end of the day, we we still dominated the game. We still had the the the, the most of the possession stats, and you know we we kept the ball well. It's just one of those days for us. Wolves were brilliant. Uh, they, that, don't get me wrong. Kilman, Cody, and Bolly. That is probably one of the best defensive uh, partnerships there I've seen us play under this Bielsa with this Bielsa team. That's that was an unbelievably good defensive display. Cody, what a player he is. Um, so I can't get disheartened by this at all. I, I think I think we've done well last night, and I think um, Wolves have just done a job on us. Um, so it's onwards and upwards. Uh, we can soon put this to bed. I think Villa will be a much more um, open, aggressive game. I'm really looking forward to that. So nothing to worry about. Come on, Leeds, marching on together.